Hey guys, welcome back to Shop Life. It's an early morning, got a lot of work to do today. Got a bunch of customers coming and got to do a lot of work. Just had my coffee, so I'm good to go for a few hours and then I'm gonna need some food. But anyways, hopefully tonight is the night. We'll get to work on the wagon a little bit and hopefully get the engine ready to go in. We'll find out. All right, so we're about to get back to work on the wagon. I'm about to pull the engine up here, lift the car up all the way, start changing all the gaskets, oil pan gasket, oil filter housing gasket, all the gaskets, uh, take the intake manifold off as well, and change all the stuff underneath there, and the CCB and all that kind of stuff as well. So let's go ahead and get to it.
So it's finally all together. We haven't flashed the computer or anything, but the car should turn on. It should run fine. Uh, it might just not use all the power because the map is still for a 325, but it should still turn on. We're gonna, I, I also went ahead and drained the transmission, changed the filter and the gasket on there and refilled it a little bit. So I'm just gonna have her sit in the car, have the car running so I can finish refilling the transmission. All the cooling system stuff has been replaced. Uh, everything but the radiator has been replaced. And right now I just filled everything in with water because this engine was sitting for well over a year. I already primed the oil as well. I had the, the, uh, the fuel pump fuse pulled already. Since we were, when we were moving it, I had to keep turning the car to ignition mode. I didn't want fuel spilling out. So I had that fuse out already. Just primed the system a little bit and put the fuse back in. So now let's go ahead and try it out. Turn it on. Now that I remember, every time we were moving the car before I took out the fuel pump fuse, we were just spilling gas everywhere because we had to get rid of the steering lock. So there's no gas in the car. We're about to go get some gas. It's time to pull it out. Hey. <laughs> Anything dripping out while I pulled out? No. Are you ready? <laughs> Even with the 325i maps that are still on the ECU, this thing is pretty quick. It's a lot quicker than it was before, honestly. So that's it for this vlog. We're still gonna be doing a lot more stuff to this wagon, but for right now, I think we're just gonna drive it. We missed it a lot. But anyways, thanks for watching. So go check out my main channel. I'm gonna make a DIY on how to actually uh, flash the 330 tune on the stock ECU for a 325, and also for any other videos. Thanks for watching.